What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be updating my EDC. It's been a while. I think it's been like two years or something since I've updated my EDC. So um, we're going to get into that right now. guys so this is the bandana full of stuff so let's just start with the left corner right here all right so i just deholstered it and unloaded it for you guys so because there's a whole bunch of safety not safety on there i'm doing this with one hand so i'm not gonna press check it let's see if i can do it with one hand ah, nope can't do it with one hand we will just have to take my word um yeah so i did a video on this uh, white hat holsters holster so I'll put a link to that uh, for the holster but yeah this is the uh, uh, dual color edition I guess it's called uh, the only thing I changed on it is the uh, sights because the normal one the normal all black uh, 365 comes with a with night sights but for some reason this one did not so Place the sights there. Got a red fiber optic right there. So, and then this is blacked out back here. So, I kind of like that. I'm probably not going to do anything else to this uh, except maybe change this trigger to a flat trigger. That's about it. Uh, other than that, yeah. So, okay, this is the uh, 12 round, 12 plus one, 12, 12 plus one mag that I carry in there and then uh, sometimes I carry this this is again a white hat holsters mag holder I don't always carry this sometimes I just carry well sometimes I don't carry an extra mag at all but sometimes I carry this mag just in uh, my jeans pocket this is the 15 round 15 round mag here Boom. so that's pretty cool moving on I believe I've actually shown this in one of my previous ones. This is not the same one. This is the Atomic Bear, my focus, the Atomic Bear tactical pin. So this side is the window breaker, and this side is the pin. Now, this is pretty nice. I, I, I want to say this is like $10 on Amazon, something around $10, maybe $12, something like that. Um, it's just as good a quality as anything else out there except for the uh, little clip this thing is seemingly nice on this one but the only issue I've had I've had probably two of these I mean two other atomic bear pins and they just I'll step out of the truck or whatever it is and uh, this thing will just keep bending and then I can never get it back so that's my big issue I should probably just buy the caps if I could and continuing on with the video so this is the leatherman charge plus now i just got this this week so i cannot say a whole lot on it but it is very nice i am planning on replacing the uh sheath for this right now i've been using the uh stock leatherman that comes with it which has been working pretty nice so far but yeah only had it a few days only well only used it a few days i actually haven't really got to use it much at all i just really carried it for a couple of days but uh yeah these are pretty useful so yeah these are some of the uh features on there. there's a little saw it comes with file it's got the pliers of course a review on this uh in the upcoming weeks uh, after i get to use it for a while on again so i just have a basic area cowboy style wallet i do not have a tactical wallet because i carry a crap load of cards i have probably six fuel cards alone not to mention credit cards debit cards driver's license license to carry all that stuff tactical wallets are very cool but they do not hold enough for what i need so i need a regular wallet all right, got the G-Shock watch here. Um, I've actually done a video on this. I did an unboxing video. This is the same exact watch I bought, was it two years ago, two and a half, whatever it was. Uh, I did at one point break the, uh, this little part here on the wrist, on the bracelet part. So this is a replacement 
bracelet. This is like camo, although it's really dark, but it is like a camo color if we can get it on there. So it does, the original ones were black, so that's the only difference. But yeah, I've done a video on this watch, so check it out. I'll put links uh, to everything that I've reviewed uh, in the description. Obviously, everyone knows what a G-Shock watch is and how, how great they are and all that stuff. But I gotta say, man, I love this watch. I, I do plan on getting another one pretty soon, um, just in a different color. But, dude, I, I mean, I've been in rain, sleet, snow, everything. And, you know, I, I've literally ran this over with a truck tire. I mean, I'm not even making that up. It When it broke off my, my uh, wrist, it fell on the ground. I ran over, like part of it right here and I mean it, there's no even damage on it I mean these things are indestructible I don't remember what I paid for it I you know I want to say it was less than a hundred bucks but these things are amazing I've never had any issues with it I've never even replaced the battery in three years so I mean you know kudos to G-Shock not really a carry item but I put it on my face every day so I do carry it these are just spies I think they're the Fraser. I've been getting spies for a while uh, kind of done with Ray-Bans and uh, Oakleys. Now to the backdrop of this whole video. This is uh, a Gator uh, because, let's see if I can open this up for you guys. It's uh, because it came from China. I can't do a Trump voice. That wasn't an attempt, but I can't do one anyway. So because of this whole pandemic that's going on, uh, and I am a truck driver, so I am what you would call essential. Um, I've been alternating between this. I don't really wear this too much at work. This is more for other necessities that I need. Uh, they would probably frown upon this at work. Uh, I've been wearing just these kind of black cotton uh, masks that you can line with these little filters inside. Uh, I wear these at work. Uh, this is actually uh, my girl's one because this is the small. I have the large. It's just picked up the wrong one for the video, but it's the same thing, just bigger than this. All right, I'm still rocking the same Olight. Uh, let's see, put it on here. It's got the, the S1R Baton. Uh, I've done some video on this before. I've had this light forever. I lost the original charger, a lot of backup. Still works fine. Um, I plan on upgrading this, and if I upgrade this, I'll do a review. I'm not sure what I want to get, but I do want to get uh, a bigger flashlight than this because this one is just too small. Recently, I've started wearing my old compass. I, I made this a long time ago. I don't think I ever did a video on it, but I, uh, I've been wearing it recently just because uh, I've become a local driver and people keep telling me to go to the south side of the building and I'm like an idiot. I don't know what the south side is. I'm always turned around and believe it or not, this thing is really coming handy. It's like a, you know, a cheap Amazon compass that I think costs, you know, $10 for a pack of 50 or some crap like that. But man, it's been, it's been working. So it has several uses, but it's really been useful for me every day. The new Benchmade uh, turret 980 serrated. I recently did a review on this as well. I will put the link to that in the description. Uh, this is an amazing knife. I think everyone needs some form of a blade, if not a fixed blade. I'd like to carry a fixed blade as well as this. This is really more for work. This is not really a defense knife. I'd like to carry a defense knife as well. So I'll, that's something I'll probably do here in the in the near future. But for right now, this is this is all I've been carrying. Uh, my key situation is totally screwed. I have no organization to this whatsoever. Uh, you know, I got the Gerber dime on there. An old, uh, I don't even know what this is. Streamlight, Streamlight Nano, I believe. I don't, does it even work? Who knows? I haven't even used it in forever. There's no real organization. I need to do something with this. I have too many keys, too many necessities for keys between truck keys and work keys and all this stuff, so. Anyway, ignore this. This will be fixed. I will I will get a better system than this. All right, so here's some extra footage for you guys. And yes, this uh, label I've made is sort of destroyed now. Uh, it was a cheap label I printed with the computer. Um, so I have made my own hand sanitizer. I'm gonna put a link to that uh, in the description as well. But yeah, this is something that I have been basically carrying with me every day in some form or fashion. I 
if I'm you know going to the grocery store I put it in the buggy if I'm going to work it's usually sitting right next to me somewhere um, if I go in and out of places if I touch anything uh, hand sanitize it up not real big on the whole gloves things because if you wear gloves you're basically just contaminating every single thing that you touch and because of this whole uh, plague or whatever that's going around right now I uh, and real big on uh, using hand sanitizer. Uh, even though, I mean, uh, some people say it's not good to use hand sanitizer too much because uh, you're killing good bacteria on your body and good bacteria actually prevent you from getting sick. But I mean, hey, you win some, you lose some. I, to me, it seems to be the smart thing, if I'm, especially if I'm going to a grocery store where everyone's touching everything and you know, you see people coughing. So yeah, uh, anyway, um, so check it out. I got a link to how to make it, it's pretty simple. Alright guys, so that was my EDC for right now. Uh, anything that I do to change that or update it or anything I get new, I'll probably do a review on. So stay tuned for that type of stuff. If you have any comments or concerns, be sure to leave in the comment section below. Um, and if you have any uh, questions, be sure to ask those as well. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it. It helps me out. Uh, and until next time, guys.